Hello guys and welcome you all to my channel Curiosity AIO. I'm Sahilan right here and today we are going to talk about bottlenecks. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what does this stuff bottleneck means? Let me just first of all give you the definition which Wikipedia gave it to me. It was bottleneck literally refers to the narrow top part of the bottle. In engineering, it refers to a phenomena where performance or capacity of an entire system is limited by a single or small number of components or resources. It was pretty much complex, I suppose. So let me just simplify it for you. The simplified version says that imagine you have a bottle with a narrow top part. It is completely filled with water and you have just turned it upside down. So what will happen? Simply the water will start flowing out from the bottle. But what if you remove the upper top narrow part of the bottle and then turn it upside down? Very simple answer, the water will start flowing almost instantly or the bottle, what the bottle will get empty almost instantly. And there you got the definition of bottlenecking. It simply refers to a process in which we identify a bit slow components of our computer who, who are responsible in bringing down the average benchmarking performance of our PC. If you, have, if you haven't watched my benchmarking video, you can click in the link in the description box below. Now, do you have a bottleneck or can your PC have a bottleneck? Let's answer this question. If you have recently bought a new budget PC from a manufacturer such as HP, Intel, Acer, Lenovo, then uh, in most cases you can have a bottleneck and that will be in most cases your Intel HD integrated GPU. This is mainly because they use the resources which are, uh, which are to be used by the CPU itself but they share those resources for graphical processing works which does not give you a very good performance when it comes to high-end tasks such as gaming. But if we turn the side of the coin and go on to the NVIDIA graphics card or other external graphics card, they will give you damn good performance when it comes to gaming because they have their own resources and do not share CPU's resources. Now I think you have understood all about benchmarking what it is and what it means and that's all for this video if you like this video please like comment and subscribe if you have any questions you can simply write them in the comment section below i will answer them as fast as possible and finally thank you all for watching and spending time for this video at last thanks once again please like comment and subscribe